the times, uh, well, they're, they're changing as I think everybody gets, right? A lot of people are being impacted by the changes in technology. And while this has always occurred, right? Technology has been ever evolving. What we're seeing right now is that it is evolving at a much faster rate and the impact of the evolution is occurring at a much faster rate. Now, I want to tell you, um, uh, as, of, as of Sunday morning at about 9.45 a.m., so that's four days ago, I had no idea what I'm about to tell you for the next few minutes was going to be in this package today. But here's, here's, how, here's how some of your stories at live office hours come about. So on Sunday, uh, for those of you that... Um, that, that are here with me live, it was St. Patrick's Day. Now, my wife is a runner, and so she's got a lot of fit running friends that are in her running club and do some of the group training that they do together, but a, a dozen of them or so got together on Sunday morning and, and ran a 10K uh, for St. Patrick's Day, meaning they actually went to a race. And then my wife had informed me a few days prior to this race that apparently everybody was coming to our house at 10 o'clock for a Bloody Mary bar and that I needed to basically have a, have an excellent Bloody Mary bar for them. And if anybody's been over to the La Civita house for a party, you know how good this, this, this was. So all these people come piling in, and some of whom I knew and some of whom I didn't. But one guy who I didn't know, his name was Jamal. And Jamal's 31 years old, and he works at Accenture. And so we get to talking, and as me being me, I have to know everybody's business. I want to know everything about them. Give me your life story. And I said, what do you do? Take me through your career. I mean, could you imagine that I would do something like this even on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock over Bloody Mary's? Actually, I think he was drinking a mimosa. But he says to me, well, I'm in security. And I said, oh, not like physical security, but like, no, like cybersecurity. I said, oh, okay, you like cloud computing, cl uh, cloud security, yeah, 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 we get talking. So he's been working almost 10 years. And I said, well, well how'd you evolve? Like, take, take, give, me, give me 10 years in a minute. And so he said, well, you know, I started developing software and working on the networks. And then, you know, and then I kind of graduated through and then I started designing things and I'm managing stuff. And Accenture is my second job and I've been there five or six years and so on and so forth. I said, well, what about now? He said, well, now I'm back to the code but not really programming it, but I spend my time with the code. And he said, but, but now it's, it's not like it used to be. I don't actually have to program it anymore. I have a, a, we have stuff, computers, machines that basically code it for us or review code that's been written to see what's wrong or how to optimize it. I just need to basically make sure that the, that the, that the automation that's being automated is, is in order. Right, I, I, I creatively need to make sure I'm instructing it properly. So now the motor's running, right? Now, now the motor's running. Jamal leaves, everybody else leaves, and he cleans up the Bloody Mary bar, and, uh, and I, I, I go to my chair there. I had some things I wanted to jot down because I didn't want to forget some things I wanted to think about and investigate at a later time, which was between Sunday and now. And so I got to thinking about the last, say, 30 or 40 years. Now, I want you to think about this. In the last 30 or 40 years, we, we've seen an evolution of, of technology. Now, I'm somebody who's lived through that last 40 years, so it's a 30, my 36-year career. Well, when I, was, when I was programming in the 1980s, it was all about automating a process, a workflow, capturing a data, or the evaluation of the data. And so... Everything I did was an if-then scenario, and then I had to think through the logic of if this occurs, then we do that. If it doesn't occur, we do this kind of thing. And there was basically, you were automating the work, the process. And then, and then we started connecting PCs together on the local area network, and then we started connecting the networks together to become more globally connected, then with the internet, and so on. And now, with the onset of AI and machine learning and neural networks... Right, we and, and and we have a completely different uh, situation that we're operating in because now the automation is being automated, just like Jamal said. So when I think about you know the automation being automated, I think about the changes that are going to occur. Some of which I think are obvious to people, and some of which I I really honestly I don't think are are obvious for people, but when you think about software, you either work for the software or the software works for you. And once the software works for you, you are out technically. You don't you're not needed. 
Okay. And so there's going to be a lot of changes, which I think people are nervous about. And I want you to understand when you, when you think about what's actually happening and what is, you know, the, 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 the value of the skills that are going to be needed in this new era of AI. So I think about, okay, I think about my own company, which even though it's small, is a microcosm of this world. I just see it faster because I'm driving a speedboat and can turn it quickly. But these large companies who are really like analogously cr cruise liners, they need to turn their ship too. But what used to take, thir you know, decades that then took a decade that then was taking five years can now happen in five months, five weeks, or five days. And I think about my 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 newest uh, product release and my newest tool that I'm using to run my business. And I also think about about what's transpired in my business over the last year as AI has and tools have been introduced and available to me. And what what's happened is I've been able to reduce employees while in employee reduction increasing productivity but what's what what's even better from a business standpoint is that my and 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 my costs are going down and my revenue per employee are going up it's taking me less time to build a stronger business that generates more money and so this is what's going to happen for a lot of companies this is a big reason why the stock market is still healthy because companies are figuring out cheaper ways to make more profit and while that's great for stock prices it's not so great for employees and when i look at what i was able to do with andy ai for those of you that have heard about my latest tool and i've been looking at at products over the course of the year but earlier you know a few months back i'm able to buy a product and take 35 years of my experience and things that I've learned that I've taught you live for the last, say, nine or 10 years, right, that have been out there on the internets, right, or in my premium programs, right, that I've been able to, to feed into different products that within an afternoon, I'm able to figure out I want this particular product. In a weekend, I'm able to load everything I needed to load and I probably could have turned it on on Monday, but I didn't. I tested it for a month. But I'm able to take Andy, the technician, Andy, the engineer, Andy, the person who had to learn all that and teach all that. And now I don't need that guy anymore. Now what I need is Andy, the philosopher, Andy, the psychologist, Andy, the sociologist, Andy, the art guy, Andy, the history guy. Maybe some of you liberal arts majors might be rejoicing because once once this, you know, you either work for the software, the software's working for you. Well, if the software's working for you right now, I don't need the engineer. I need the creative thinker. So the skills that are going to be valued going forward are going to be different. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I can already see it because I'm living it every day of now the skills I'm tapping into in me in order to use tools that I'm working with to add more value to my customers. And I was able to do that in a weekend. Now, I tested it for a month or so, and now I have people that have been testing it for a week or so, and, and that's going to evolve. And I don't know what's next, but I can already see different ways that I'm using these tools and tools I've built and created from somebody else's genius, right? So I want you to, I want you to think about that. And so there's two things that I want to I, I I stress today is that the skills you're building in you. You, you, you need to look at this as what skills am I going to need to survive in the future? And am I building those today? And that's, for me, I'm tickled pink that I'm able to produce the zebra code because that's what that book is all about. But also, as an employee, while this isn't going to happen overnight, or it might happen overnight to some of you, but most of you it won't, but it's going to happen soon. Are you positioned to, number one, make an argument of what you're worth to your employer or to a future employer? And number two, are you able to show the value that you've created and the value you can create? Are you building the right skills that will be transferable, right? I said bye-bye to Andy, tech guy engineer. I said hello, or at least I'm spending more time with Andy, the philosopher, doing more things. So do, do you got, does, is, this, is this registering with people of, of how this transition is occurring? Because a big part of, you know, a lot of people are looking at, at the stock market and wondering, well, how, how is this still possible that this is occurring? I'm just, I just told you how it is. 
right? Without getting into all the technical financial mumbo jumbo. But effectively, that's what's happening is that profits are remaining up because of the changing in the technology. And I'm able to do things in a much more profitable manner that I wasn't able to do even five months ago. But this is going to affect a lot of you. And I want you to spend some time thinking about, are you positioned? 